day in the life of a realtor. What's going on ladies and gents of Cyberland? Coming back to you with another educational video and this time we're going to go into um, my typical day as being a realtor. What is it that I do normally during the day? So, normally I would get up in the morning and depending on the time, I'll do some cardio. I'm trying to work on that. <laughs> I will lift, take some protein. And then get freshened up, depending on the time now we're looking at, either get the, the kids up for school, or I will look at, is there anything that you know I need to do in regards to my emails, check those really quick, and then get the boys up for school. After that, it'll be, again, looking at my emails, seeing what I already have planned for the day, which is an open house, uh, making a couple phone calls, touching base with my lenders or touching base with my mentor yeah pretty much it I'm ready day and I'll just run it through what I try to do too is when I have things like if I have to, if I'm making content, or I'm doing editing also at the, at the time, um, I try to do that while I'm at my open house, meeting clients, making uh, touch base phone calls, follow ups. Try to do that while I'm at open house so I don't have any wasted time. The other thing is I try to make sure that I can schedule things um, accordingly, or if I have things that can be do, done now. I do it now as opposed to waiting until later. This is why. As a realtor, you're going to get a lot of curveballs. They're not going to come when you expect them. They're just going to show up. So if there's something where you have an emergency where you have to go here to do this, you have to do that. You can only be in one place at one time. So make sure have somebody you can rely on if you can't make it or make sure the stuff that you could have done earlier is already done so you can handle these curveballs sometimes well I wouldn't say sometimes but you can kind of get in the habit of being like well I'll do it later I'll do it later if you have time to take care of a situation now then do it now so things come down later, you're able to take care of them if needs be, if they do come. You're supposed to live for the day, but try to plan accordingly to some extent to, oh, to see things coming down later that you can sense might occur, that you can handle. Because one thing I don't like personally is curveballs. I don't like things being thrown in my face like right now. I have to take care of it. I don't enjoy it. I can do it, but I prefer to plan. I always like to plan my, my day. I always like to plan my week. That if something does happen, I can maneuver around it. The other thing is, once my day is done, with doing open house, setting up signs, taking them down. Pick up my kids, get them ready for home, school, there's any grocery shopping, any errands that need to be run, try to do that too. And then, get in, try to check emails again, or 
see if there's any follow-ups. Always try to see if there's anything I can do today so I can be ready for something coming up. Also, doing any content, like I said, recording, practice with my kids when I'm working with one of my sons on drums for the other one on guitar, or doing my own guitar practice. Because I'm not just a realtor. I do have other things, whether it's home duties, gaming, or recording content, or playing my guitar. Try to do all those things. You know, try to spend time with the missus. And then just run it back again the next day. And so forth and so forth and so forth. I think at the end of the day, it's just, you know, being productive and making sure that the time you're utilizing is planting seeds, as I've been told, later down the road, like down three months later, that's going to help you continue to uh, generate business for yourself. That's the biggest thing besides what the business you have to do. Yeah. So that being said, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. And I will catch you guys on the next one.